right, welcome to LED Info. My name is Ron. We are in the LED Info test lab. Today we're reviewing the Spider Farmer SF1000D. Now, for those of you that have been with us before, you're aware that we've been reviewing the lights that are for sale on eBay and Amazon. Now, this is our first um, Spider Farmer unit that we've reviewed, so you know we're pretty excited about that. We're also very curious to see how this unit is going to compare with the Mars 1000 and the Viper Spectra 1000, which we've already reviewed. We do want to make a quick note here that there are two Spider Farmer SF1000 models. There is the SF1000D, which is the unit that we're looking at today. There is also an SF1000 model, just plain SF1000. The a main difference between the two is that the SF1000 model has a mean well driver with a dimmer switch and daisy chain connectors. The D model has a no-name driver you know, without the dimmer switch, without the daisy chain connectors. The other difference is, according to the uh, Spider Farmer PPFD numbers, the uh, SF1000 has uh, slightly higher PPFD numbers than the D model. Now, we're going to do our own PPFD numbers. We'll do a full PPFD grid. We'll compute the DLI, that's the daily light integral. And then we'll also uh, test for the actual wattage that's being used. First, though, we'll uh, take a look at the light. We'll do a quick visual inspection. And then we'll head on over to the LED Info test chamber. And we'll get those all-important PPFD numbers for you. All right, so here is the Spider Farmer SF1000D, brand spanking new right out of the box. The light uses quantum board technology. It has an 11.5 by a 10-inch quantum board. It has 210 LEDs. According to the specification sheet, this light will produce a natural white sunshine type of spectrum, which seems to be the popular choice these days. Both growers and manufacturers are embracing these quantum boards you know, with the natural spectrum, and it seems to be the, the wave of the future. This light will also produce infrared light, which a lot of growers like. They feel that it um, helps their plants to flower more profusely. On the flip side, we have uh, just a driver, no uh, dimmers or on-off switches, anything like that. The dimmer switches are really nice. We always like to have a dimmer, but that being said, this light is like $50 to $60 cheaper than the SF1000 that has the dimmer. So, you know, definitely that's something to consider. So uh, we're going to pop this in the LED Info test chamber, and we'll see what kind of numbers this one produces. We're in the LED Info test lab. We're reviewing the Spider Farmer SF1000D. We have the Spider Farmer in our test chamber ready to go. It's hung at a level 12 inches of height. We've taken great care to place the light directly in the center of the test chamber. We've created a grid. We have a 16 square grid. Each square is 6 inches. We take a measurement from each square. We also take a dead center reading. Uh, that's 17 total readings. We add those all together. Then divide by 17. Uh, that gives us an average PPFD reading for the entire grow area. And then that's the number that we use to compute the DLI, the daily light integral number. So um, I'm ready to go. We're going to uh, button up the test chamber here. We'll get that all-important dead center uh, PPFD reading here coming right up for you. Okay, so there it is, 629. That's dead center at 12 inches for the Spider Farmer SF1000D. So um, I'll go ahead and uh, complete the full PPFD grid. We'll post that. We'll also post the LED Info review sheet. Uh, we'll take a look at the watt meter, see what the actual wattage is on this light, and then we'll go ahead and wrap this one up. So I want to thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a good one, and we'll see you next time.